him showing me the power of um, letting your light shine. Um, I'm in a place right now where there are people that believe in all kind of things. And one of the people that, um, that I believe God allowed my light to shine through was through somebody that was a mason. And <clears throat> one day she, well, when I first met her, she was saying that she believes in Jesus Christ. And then she was saying she believed in masons and all of this other dark stuff. But I believe through all the praise and the worship that was present there with her and then um, just her having to be able to talk to me and get everything out, um, it was really some deeper problems. She was saying that um, at this present time now, her um, grandch grandchildren are being molested by her husband and they got this ancestor going on in their family. And she just broke down crying and said, so that's why I can't put my faith in God. i got to handle this on my own. Mm -hmm. And I believe once she released those words, it was able to show her that's why the enemy had pulled her that way. It's because she felt like she couldn't put her trust in God. But a couple of days later, a minister came and a minister, and she went up to the altar and she gave her life to God. So Praise I just thank God for his power of just, yeah. it wasn't even, I don't think it was a witness, but it was more of God's what he was doing, just the love that was shown there that brought her to salvation. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Oh, that was Thank wonderful. You, praise God. Thank you. Praise God. Anybody else would like to give a praise report or a testimony? Anybody? Anybody? Now, I know God done a lot. Come on now. I just want to thank God for waking me up this morning and putting me in my right mind because I do have issues with mental health and drug things, but when you put down the drugs and stuff and, and just, you know, are able to breathe a little, let God give you good air and good hope, and uh, just things are just getting so different, although Satan's still running around telling me that I, I would feel better if I go ahead and do that drink, but right now, this is the biggest blessing in the world is this ankle thing. I can't walk but 30 feet away, so until, you know, I can really count on God, I, I know I'm, I'm still slacking in so many ways, and I'm still, every once in a while, trying to depend on myself or people that claim to be your friends and stuff. But since I've eliminated them, I'm not lonely anymore because I can find the words I need and the comfort I need in my Bible now. And, and I'm counting on, on the word because I know that everything in that book is true. And it says everything I am. And I'm starting to really believe that most of my life, I, uh, and the more you're around women, you see other women have been through the same thing. Rape, abuse, I mean... And, and oh, this place is just, uh, you can feel the spirit of God in here. And I'm just so thankful that, that my probation officer sent me here. And this is not really a place most people come for community service. So I just consider myself so glad and so lucky. And I'm sorry I missed yesterday, but uh, I, I wake up in the morning with something to look forward to right now. And it's not about where I'm going to get some money to go find some dope or where I'm going to get... It's, do I got enough money to get on the bus and go praise God today? Okay. Yeah. 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 So I don't have to worry about it for a whole month. Because right now I don't have any income. And, and being locked up for six months, I lost everything. So, But that's okay because God didn't want me to have the money that God does. He said, let me do something better for you. Let me give you something new. Maybe not new, but new for me and better for me. Okay, so I'm just, I just want to praise God and give him all the honor and glory so good. And I thank him so much for loving me beside myself. You know, even when I'm not worthy of being loved, thank God that he, he loves us anyhow. Even on our worst dang days, he still says, I love you, girl. Get up and let's go. That's but I, I thank God.